not proud of taking out a tree. Obviously, I've planted about hundreds of here, absolutely hundreds. But it is kind of cool to see the roots. So the theory behind this is if you cut it off short, you've got no leverage on to pull on the roots. So I'm going to cut it off nice and high. Well, actually, I'm not going to cut it off. I'm going to see if I can do it without cutting it off to start with. I'm going to try and just rock it over. But what I'm going to do first of all is dig around a little bit with the bucket of the digger and break up the roots around the, the top roots and hoping that will kind of give me enough kind of traction then to be able to pull it over and knock it over with the digger. I'm going to try and use this wood. Damson's a lovely wood, really hard. Um, kind of, a, you know, fruit, lots of fruit woods are brilliant for stuff. So this would make great mallet or something like that. So we'll, I'll try and make something with this afterwards. Um, let's put it to one side and save it. And the branches can be cut up for firewood. So that's my thinking. Let's get on it. This damson tree it hasn't grown um, any fruit. It's basically the root stock has taken over, the cyan wood's died off. I tried to graft it over, it hasn't really worked. But, and part of me is like, oh, I should keep trying with it. But I have got 14 damson trees that I planted in a new hedge that were planted a few years ago. And I've got a good damson tree over there and got lots of plum trees over there. I've got 15 plum trees over there as well. So not that short on them. So I think I'm going to take this out and one thing we are short on is pear and this will make a great place for a big pear tree, a pear tree to go really big, one we'd have to harvest with a ladder but that's, that's fine. I know it's, it looks like carnage but I will put it all back down. Um, obviously I've planted lots of trees here, I don't like to do this um, but it's the only way I can think to kind of get it all out in one go and plant another tree and get it growing again. A lot of people say like, oh, it's just, it kind of mirrors down below what it does above. It doesn't always the case. You can see these branches really spread out just all across the surface here. I'm guessing there's a big tap root as well. So I'm put the digger up there now and try and see if I can lever it over, see if I can waggle it kind of out of the ground really. And then put this soil back and then plant a tree and we'll plant some grass seed and stuff down here again. And it uh, should come back really nice. You won't be able to tell I've been here in the summer. But uh, it's a little bit wet. I'd like to have done this a little while ago. But we ended up having a week and stuff in hospital. And everything's just kind of, kind of got pushed back and back and back. And this is kind of, I'm getting to the last time now where really I can get that other tree in. Um, so yeah, gonna, gonna now knock this over. Let's see what happens. Okay, I know this isn't the best way to take down a tree, but like I said, I wanted the space cleared. I'd planted it in the wrong place. This is 10 years old. You can see the size of these roots. There's no tap root at all, but uh, you look at the size of this root coming off here. I mean, that's in the ground. That's like eight inches there. It's only 10 years old. Um, so you can see how they kind of spread out across the ground. So if you were plowing along the sides of these, it would obviously make a huge impact to this tree. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this up now. pretty cool though to see it like not proud of taking out a tree obviously I've planted about hundreds of here absolutely hundreds but it is kind of cool to see the roots and you know I've, I've done a lot of damage to the soil I know that and uh, but it'll come back it'll come good look at these roots you know you see what that damson tree had in it to hold it up I think it's really cool hey this is a bit of a blunt blade so it doesn't matter too much about the soil on the root and things. So.
bit of speed of growth on this tree. You see the difference between the years. Damson really does grow pretty damn fast. A great tree in my opinion. It's a shame I put it in the wrong place. Rain gonna stop play today, finish it tomorrow. I'm gonna get wet, man brought my coat. Right, I bought this tree a couple of months ago uh, online. It's on a Kirchen Staller rootstock, which is one that grows really big. It's a black Worcester pear, so a cooking pear that keeps and it keep up to about February. We haven't got any pears that really keep. We've only got Conference and William and a few other. So, need to plant it now. Isn't huge amounts of roots on this. We're going to plant it, make sure you plant it so the graft is above the ground, so that the rootstock controls the growth. And then I will also prune it. So it's not going to have a huge hole. I don't give too much care to the trees when they go in, to be honest with you. I don't add much additives or anything like that. It has rained solidly for over a day. second hand tree guard around it. Okay you can see the size of the root ball that this had left so although it feels counterintuitive rather than that tiny bit around the root trying to support all the branches I'm gonna prune these back a bit maybe take some of the lower branches completely off. The idea is then the roots will be able to support what they've got above so it always feels a little bit harsh take it off we've just planted it but it is the best thing to do and now that should grow away. I'm not going to stake it. What I'll do is I'll keep an eye on it. And if it does start to go one way or the other, um, when it starts growing properly, I'll put a stake in and correct it. The trouble is if you put a stake in and it's tied there, it kind of thinks it's anchor's there. And when the stake goes, you're much more likely to have a tree fall over. Um, whereas this now, the anchor point is in the soil, in the ground. So I think it's much better. It has rained lots um, the last few days. So I'm going to tidy this up in a few days time, I think, when it's dried up a little bit chuck some clover and some grass seed down let it come back and tidy up my pile of brush over there and over there and see what I can do with it. But yeah, so that's a tree replaced, a bit of mess made, but should be better in the long term. Ten years time, I I've got a nice big pear tree there growing, producing me lots of pears that I can eat for the winter. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.